There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi everybody, it's Guru Bob and welcome to day 27 of the 30 day challenge. Today and over the next couple of days we're going to be uh, focusing on helping you increase the value of your blog on the basis that you've decided that your niche is a success case and that you have um, been receiving sufficient traffic and hopefully sales uh, to justify you moving forward in your niche. But today specifically I'm going to be, this, it's a two-part uh, day, I'm going to be showing you how to broaden your keyword exposure uh, with the goal of getting more traffic and then Ed is going to be showing you how to take those keywords and to add more content to your blog over a period of time to get rankings for those extra keywords and more rankings will give you more traffic. So today is largely on-page focused and over the next couple of days we'll be f focusing more on some off-page factors. Just to give you an update of where we've, where we've uh, gotten to at this stage, way back on day two we did our keyword market research and at least in the example that we've uh, provided, the vintage electric guitar example, we found um, the, uh, the main keyword, vintage electric guitar, by having done a couple of searches inside Market Samurai. And at the same time we found vintage electric guitar, we also found three other keywords that met our traffic, SEOT traffic and competition criteria. Now we decided that the vintage electric guitar was the keyword that we wanted to focus on at the blog theme level, so that became our blog theme keyword. And um, the other keywords and also vintage electric guitar became uh, category keywords on the blog. And to this date our posting has largely been focused around those four keywords. Um, now what we need to do now is find more keywords um, within these categories that can um, that have traffic potential that we can add uh, create content for or, or or find content for to post on our blog to broaden our exposure to more keywords within this niche. So I'm going to head over to um, Market Samurai and show you how, how how I would do that. Just like when we did our sort of tier one and tier two keyword searches on guitar and vintage guitar, we can now use Market Samurai at this sort of tier three le le level to find keywords that are um, that are related to uh, our, our category keywords. And I'm going to just do a search on vintage electric guitar um, in this exercise, but we could also do that same search on the other category keywords as well. So we just go into uh, here. Now um, you might want to have a bit of play with this. You can either use Google Synonym Tool or SEO Digger or both. Um, but just for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to use the Google Synonym tool again, and um, we're going to be this time focusing on SEO traffic, so we'll leave those as they are. Now I'm using a new version of Market Samurai uh, 0.64, so along the way there might be a few differences which I'll which I'll point out. Notice that um, we've got a couple of hundred keywords have come back. Uh, notice that I can apply a traffic filter now at the generate uh, keywords level. Um, to limit this list based on traffic. I've, I've not chosen to do this for this exercise because our main focus is competition rather than traffic as I'll explain as we go forward. One thing I do recommend that you, that you do however is um, before we go to the analyze um, keywords area is to quite heavily uh, edit this list just like we did when we were finding keywords for our AdWords exercise. I would suggest you do the same thing here because we don't really want to be um, doing competition analysis on keywords that really aren't related to our niche. Uh, our goal in this exercise is to find long tail and semantic long tail derivative keywords that are very tightly related to our to our you know our category and blog theme keywords. So I'm going to go and limit that list now and then I'll um, pause the video and I'll come back when I've when I've when I've achieved that. Okay I've quite heavily filtered through this list and I've removed um, all of the keywords that really don't uh, don't have a direct relevance to vintage electric guitar and I've left all the keywords in here that have either mentioned the word uh, vintage or antique or used guitars or old guitars um, and I still have uh, 74 active keywords here so having edited that list I can now analyze this list and um, at this stage I'm going to go straight over to the SEO competition and pull back the SEO competition numbers for those um, 
for those keywords. And that is now complete. Uh, notice I've now got 57 active keywords. Now I've, I've ordered this uh, keyword list by uh, the SEOT score and um, you'll notice that we've got uh, a number of keywords that are greater than um, 100 searches a day which may indeed, uh, which are different to the ones that we found in our initial search over on day two. So we've got some extra keywords here that might ultimately become um, candidate um, category keywords on the blog. But what we're really interested in, in this exercise are keywords, longer tail keywords, that have got very low competition numbers but still got some, um, some useful traffic numbers. For instance, vintage Gibson electric guitar here has 60 searches a day potential and only 348 competing pages. Or um, uh, vintage Les Paul guitar, uh, 60 searches a day, 1600 competing pages. So we've now got a, a number of keywords that are all very low competition. They're all highly related to vintage electric guitar and uh, they're all keywords that we can post on um, on the blog uh, in order to get uh, ranking for a wider range of keywords and therefore hopefully more traffic. Now I've only at this stage I've only done this search um, for the keyword vintage electric guitar. I can also use Market Samurai to do that same search on vintage bass guitar, vintage uh, antique guitar, you know, the other category keywords that I had previously identified. And having done that, it's very likely that my list of um, you know, low competition keywords will be even larger. Uh, but for the purposes of this exercise, um, you know, I've just done that on vintage electric guitar. And as I said, we have found other keywords that ultimately might be justified to become category keywords on the blog. Uh, just by virtue of their traffic potential and the fact they're less than 30,000 competing pages. So we can then um, add uh, a, or take the keyword list that we found using Market Samurai and add those keywords um, under the most appropriate category uh, that they should uh, be posted against on the blog. And you can see because I've done the search as in this exercise on vintage electric guitar, most of those keywords would sit within the vintage electric guitar category. Um, but I did find some others that would be you know, quite appropriate to sit within uh, the other categories that already pre-exist on, uh, uh, on the blog. Now were I to post on one of these um, post keywords, let's take for example vintage Les Paul guitar, then, um, then when I make that post uh, that would be categorized underneath vintage electric guitar in this particular case and I would tag the, the post um, using the Vintage Les Paul Guitar tag, also the category tag, Vintage Electric Guitar, and um, where, you know, where you're posting to a category um, which is not Vintage Electric Guitar, then I would also have Vintage Electric Guitar as a tag because that's the main blog theme keyword for the overall blog. All right, well, that's how I would um, use Market Samurai to find some more keywords. But there's also another method that you might want to have a look at as well, and that's using your analytics. So let's cross over to analytics and see what you might, how you might do that. I've just logged into the Vintage Electric Guitar blog analytics, Google Analytics um, control panel, and you can see there are traffic numbers here along the top, but what I'm really interested in is the traffic sources. So I'm gonna click on traffic sources here, and I'm going to take a look at the keywords that uh, are associated with the traffic that I've been receiving. Now I've set, um, I've set Google Analytics to show 25 rows here so I can see um, the top 25 keywords and um, I can have a look at the, at, at the keywords that people have been in, entering into the search engines which has then caused them to click on a link that has taken them through to the blog Vintage Electric Guitar. And what I'm going to be interested in is to find keywords in this list which have you know, multiple visits where I don't have any content on the blog at this point in time. Because if Google um, or the search engines are already sending me traffic for a certain keyword and I'm not optimized for that keyword, if I add some uh, optimized content on the blog for that keyword, then I would very likely rank higher for that keyword and therefore I'm likely to receive more traffic. So you can see, for example, that Antique Guitar has 
um, I've received seven visits already for that keyword. Now I don't have any uh, content on the post optimized for that at this stage. Um, vintage electric guitars, plural. Um, again, I'm not. I don't think most of my, our content is optimized for vintage electric guitar, singular. But that has delivered 29 searches, so it might be in my best interest over time to post some content um, that in, that is optimized specifically for that key phrase. So over time, and particularly as you begin to rank well for your uh, for your main keyword, so you become you know you get some good ranking for that. Google will begin to see your site as a bit of an authority site, and it will start to send you traffic for keywords that it thinks your uh, content and blog are relevant to. And you'll be able to see that traffic by, look, by uh, looking at your traffic stats inside your analytics account. Um, and then you hopefully will be able to find keywords that you haven't optimized for, and by optimizing for those keywords in content on your blog, you'll end up getting uh, some better rankings for those keywords and ultimately more traffic. All right, well, that uh, completes my video today. Hopefully you've seen how you can use Market Samurai and your Google Analytics account to find more keywords that you can post content on your blog about. And in the next video, Ed will show you how you can leverage some of the wonderful auto content posting functionality of WordPress Direct to post uh, content for those keywords over time using the auto content posting modules. I look forward to seeing you again on day 28. Talk soon. There is no charge for awesomeness.